It's a very, very strong story about a very strong woman and some equally strong men who are not prepared to let them get the upper hand. It doesn't go into too much the actual religious dogma of the time. It's got the essential ingredient of a battle between patent good and patent evil, really. A misguided sense of what is good and a humane sense of what is good, which Sohuani exemplifies. This is a woman who is inordinately intelligent, and that's what frightens the blokes. Uh, and not only is she, can she argue, but she's curious. She's, in, she's, she's insatiably curious about literature, about astronomy, about mathematics, about um, geography, geology. There is nothing that she doesn't put her mind to and explore with, with fantastic rigor. The notion that a woman should not be allowed to do this is, well, it's anathema to most of us. For Sister Juana, the freedom for her to write her plays and poetry and the freedom for her to express herself fully as a woman, uh, even though she's a nun, that's vital to her, her existence. And the church really kind of put a lid on it, uh, stopped her doing that. The woman I'd compare Juana to is, is Barbara Castle, definitely the best prime minister we never had. Labour, she was the minister for transport, I think under, was it Wilson? And she was a phenomenal woman, never got to be what she should have been because of the sexism in politics. And we ended up with Thatcher. So much has been said about, about Thatcher and about the Iron Lady, you know, it's quite a, a sort of a hot potato. Um, and I think, <laughs> I, I'm afraid, I think Sor Juana's uh, wider intellectual grasp and fundamental humanity separates her from Margaret Thatcher, for me. Uh, I, I think Margaret Thatcher is, is, is fascinating. Margaret Thatcher is more like a female version of Aguiar Isaihas, actually. Someone who, a conviction politician. And we all, and I think, collectively, I didn't say, we all recognised and recognised that in immediate terms that the blokes win, but historically, of course, who do we remember? Not this guy, not so, Sayas. We remember Sohuana. At least we, the Western world, will now remember her more, I think, because of this play. I have a feeling she's a, she's a popular heroine <coughs> in Latin countries, but almost unknown here.